Headlines from Axios and the New York Times showing that some of the nation's TV networks are working on a joint letter urging Presidents Biden and Trump to agree to a one-on-one -on -one debate this year, or maybe multiple of them. The Times saying this, quote, the letter thrusts into public view a question that has swirled within media and political circles. Whether the presidential debates, one of the nation's last remaining mass civic rituals in a polarized age, will occur this year at all. Let's bring in News Nation Chief Washington anchor Leland Vittert, host of On Balance. Uh, Leland, good to have you this morning. Uh, President Trump has already been pushing for these debates, right? I mean, it feels like the ball is now in President Biden's court to make a decision. Chances he takes him on. Sure, it wouldn't be the first time, right, Marky, with this letter coming out that TV executives and TV networks have an outsized opinion of uh, exactly what their import uh, is in American politics. That said, uh, the question, and I think you frame it correctly, is not one of whether President Trump will debate. Uh, he didn't during the primaries, uh, but he wants to during the general election. The onus now or the pressure will come on President Biden for obvious reasons. Just when you watch the two men um, in the public interactions they have, there's a marked difference in how uh, they come across. Um, there's a, a lot of uh, pressure on Joe Biden by Democrats not to debate because they don't want to, you know, in their words, they don't want to give Trump the forum. Well, the, the real reason is they don't want to side by side uh, on national television for some of the most watched television events there are um, of these two men. And I think I think that's where you're going. I think it's interesting um, that the television networks, uh, especially ones that are typically um, by that, I mean, the, you know, the alphabet networks, ABC, NBC, CBS, that that whose coverage is typically very pro uh, Joe Biden would be pushing for something that I think reasonable people could agree probably is in great form. Yeah, I was going to ask, uh, you know, who all is included in this in this letter, because mental acuity has been front and center for the past several months uh, and how that would play out on the debate stage uh, would probably be stark. Will the pressure from the TV networks have any impact, Leland? I think there's a difference between pressure from the TV networks, probably not. I think pressure from journalists. Um, we're coming up on White House Correspondents Association dinner here in D.C., otherwise known as Nerd Prom. Um, and one of the things the Correspondents Association is supposed to do is pressure the White House for access. And this president is one of the least accessible, if not the least accessible, uh, presidents in modern American history uh, by a factor of at least a third, no matter how you uh, by how you cut it by two thirds um, when it comes to how many interviews he's given and, and lots of other things. It's very difficult for the press to really uh, have any kind of interaction with Joe Biden. Uh, and I think looking forward, something that's going to be really important to look at is whether or not uh, the White House correspondence and the press starts pressuring the White House on those points and starts making that point um, that President Biden, who's uh, historically unpopular, um, who's involved in some major crises overseas right now. Um, who's involved in, he's got some real domestic problems right now yeah. um, about the border, whether or not he is, uh, number one, uh, able, or number two, willing uh, to come out and have conversations with, with reporters. Mm -hmm. What would be the optics if President Biden turned that down, you know, to take on Donald yeah. Trump one-on-one? -on -one? It seems like it, the White House is probably stuck between a rock and a hard place on this one, not wanting to take him on, but also not wanting to say no. <laughs> Yeah, I think you've I think you've described it well. The spin right now from from Democrats is is that Joe Biden, uh, who's a man of honor and principle, is not going to dignify and elevate Donald Trump by giving Donald Trump, who all he's going to do is tell lies over and over again, the platform of standing next to Joe Biden. And somehow uh, it elevates Donald Trump and gives him an opportunity, and therefore Joe Biden would be enabling him to spread mis and disinformation. That that that's going to be the argument. Um, if there is no debate. Um, the one thing I think is interesting uh, about this letter and about what is going to come forward, the one time we saw Joe Biden become really undisciplined, right, was that late night press conference or evening press conference that he called uh, about the special counsel report, um, where the special counsel said he couldn't remember things, he couldn't remember uh, when his son died, on and on and on. And he, he disregarded all of his advisors and he stormed out and he kind of made even things far worse um, when he confused the president of Mexico and Egypt and on and on and on um, and said things that were were untrue. Um, I think there's going to be a little, you know, the Trump team is watching that um, of how to sort of goad sure. Joe Biden um, and and push him a little bit on those kinds of things. And I don't want to use the word bully, but but certainly uh, try and draw a contrast um, are, uh, with Joe Biden and challenge him. Uh, are, are you scared? 
Um, and that may be something that Biden sort of personally in his own ego would have a hard time taking. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.